This is a video to show you guys how to um, charge a battery which is a lithium polymer battery using the C240 Duo uh, charger. This charger can charge two batteries at the same time. Um, it has two panels. Uh, you can control which battery to charge uh, depending on what the settings are. And on this side as you can see um, there is the minus plus for actually charging the battery. Um, a balance port and if your battery has um, temperature sensors you can connect that as well. Uh, for now I'm going to demo how to uh, set this up for charging a lithium polymer battery that I have. Um, the battery I have is a HRB power uh, 5000 milliampere hour 11.1 volt battery. Um, it has these actual power ports and the balance charging port. So first, uh, obviously connect the unit to mains power. Um, don't turn it on yet. The unit comes with a whole bunch of uh, connectors and also uh, these connectors, uh, two sets of each of these connectors. I've taken one out. Um, it comes with this wire, one, of, one end of which goes into the balance port like so and the other end goes into this little unit um, what this unit is um, there are multiple ports here one is three four five six and seven pin um, it depends on what how many cells are there in your battery uh, for my battery i have three cells one two three um, so that's why my balance port has four wires so three for uh, three black wires for each cell plus one power so my battery would actually connect um, this battery balance port would connect into the four pin and the other end of this would connect to the charger once that's done uh, my battery has these uh, uh, trx connectors which i don't they, the unit doesn't come standard with those connectors it comes with these uh, this end of which goes into the charger itself so the red goes to positive and black goes to negative and the other ends just connected other end is a set of alligator clips um, so i'm going to use those because the standard supplied connectors uh, that this unit comes with doesn't have the trx connector so um, i'm going to connect that red alligator clip to the red side and the black alligator clip the black side once i've done the connections i'm going to turn it on at the back so there's a button and on turning on it shows you uh, So for now I've connected everything on the one side one and this is side two so I'm going to only program the top side. Um, it's asking me to do a program select uh, and also which battery to use. So if I use this plus and minus uh, buttons I can select which, which type of battery I have. Right now I have a lithium polymer battery so I'm going to leave it there but these are all the other batteries that you have. So I'm going to leave it on lithium polymer. Also then once I press play it shows you what sort of charging or discharging you want to do. Right now it's on balance charging. So, if, But if I press plus it goes to just charging, fast charging, storage, even discharge. For discharge you don't even need to connect the balance port. Just uh, connect the power ports. Um, so I'm going to leave it on balance charge. Now next thing you want to set is this 5 amperes. My battery is a uh, 5000 milliampere hour so that's where the 5 comes from. If you have like a 1300 milliampere hour it will be 1.3. Uh, so the way you set it is you just press play once. Uh, you can select different types of lithium batteries. I'm going to leave it on lithium polymer but the other batteries you have are LiHV, uh, lithium ion, uh, lithium ferrite and lithium polymer. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there, press play once more. This is where you can set the amperage. Um, so just using the plus and minus. So I'm going to leave it on 5 amp, press play again. And that's it. That's uh, what you have set. Uh, you can also 
keep pressing play and I think it has detected my battery so it's not letting me change this 11.1 volt but if um, at the beginning it will let you change this 11.1 volt so now if I want to charge the battery so it's doing a battery check all I did was press play for a little bit longer and that is it's detected that it's a three cell battery so you have to confirm that it's, it is and just press play once more and the fan will turn on there we go and now it's going to charge the battery for however many long uh, it takes I haven't charged this battery at all even once so this might take long so I'll cut to the end uh, when it charges so as this battery charges um, this amperage uh, starts to drop uh, it's been charging for a while um, I just started recharging it um, after it said it's full just to show you guys um, so as it as it was charging this started off at 5 amperes and then it started dropping um, so I'm gonna let it run just so that you hear what it says um, and see what it says here As you guys can see this battery is now fully charged and it says um, that it's full obviously and that's it once it's charged just turn it off and disconnect the clips. <laughs>